In this video, we'll be going over toolbars in MotiveWave. Now, the toolbars contain a convenient set of buttons for performing common operations on a chart. And by default, MotiveWave will have the top toolbar enabled, which will also be visible if we create a new chart window. You will also see it here at the top. And again, it has a convenient set of uh, icons here to organize the functionality of the software. So let's close this window here. Now we can configure toolbars via the Configure, Preferences menu, and then selecting the Toolbar tab, which brings up the Toolbar panel. And you'll notice here that we have six available toolbars. By default, as mentioned, the top toolbar will be enabled. But we also have an additional top toolbar. We have one available for the bottom, one for the left-hand side of the chart, one for the right-hand side of the chart, and one in the bar size selector area of the chart. And we'll go over this in a moment. So at the moment, we are looking at the current configuration for the top toolbar. On the left-hand side, we have available actions. And from here, we select any of the actions that we want to have available on our toolbar. So if we currently look at the top toolbar, you'll notice here we have the quick search, which is the box here. We also have, let me go back here, the search for instrument, which is the magnifying icon here. Then we have a separator, so we can add space. The separator is this vertical line right here. And then down the list we go. We have a new analysis, save, save as, so new analysis, save, save as, and down the list we go. So adding is just a matter of selecting the available action and then clicking on the right hand arrow to place it onto the toolbar. Now if you want to select multiple items, you can either use your shift key, which will select them sequentially, or if you just wanted them for instance, if they're not listed sequentially, you just wanted one here, one here, and one here, then you can use your command key on the Mac or the control key on the PC. So once you have them selected, again, you click the right arrow, bring them back. Anything that you want to remove, you can select here from the toolbar actions column and then select the right arrow. And the same rule applies as far as sequential selection using the shift key or if you wanted um, to select them individually in a non-sequential order. Okay, once you have them here, you can reorder them um, by either clicking and dragging to the new position and letting go, or once they are highlighted, you can then use the up and down arrow keys to place them where you want them. So I'm gonna place this back where it was before. Now you also have the option here to add a separator. Let's just remove that. And you also have the option of adding a spacer. So let's also remove that. So for an example, if we wanted to, for instance, show volume, I can select it and then click the right arrow key, or I can actually drag it and try to place it where I want it. And if I place it here, after the change bar interval, and I click Apply, you'll notice now that it's been added to the toolbar. Okay, so let's just remove that. Now Reset and Reset All will reset the lists to their default configurations. Now let's take a look at the other available toolbars. So we have Top, Top 2. If we enable it and click Apply, you'll now notice that a second toolbar here has been added and we can again configure that the way we like. Okay, so let's turn that one off. We also have bottom, if we enable that one and click apply. You'll notice now that we have it down here just above the status bar. So let's take that off. We also have left and right, let's turn that one on as well. So now we have a toolbar on the left, and we also have one here on the right. 
So let's just take that one off. Let's take left off. Let's click bar size selector. Enable that, click apply. And now you'll notice that there is an additional toolbar here in the bar size selector area. Just like all the other available toolbars, you can configure it as you wish by selecting and removing or selecting and adding items. Okay, so that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next.